Hello, today in front of me I have Realme C30 smartphone and in this video we would like to demonstrate the best display settings to change on this device. First of all, let's go ahead and open the general settings app as well as enter the display category. So the first feature that it would highly recommend that you try uh, playing with, that you try activating is called the dark theme and as you can see once switched on it moves the system theme into like darker, even black colors, I would say, which prevents uh, your display from being too bright once not having sufficient ambient lightning, like in the night or uh, in some room with not enough lightning, as well as it uh, conserves the battery and drains significantly less battery health as the light theme. While tapping on the body of this option, you'll be also able to set some custom schedule for this option to be turned on and turned off at custom time. So we can set some time frames for it to be mm, enabled and disabled, as well as there is this small preset that once active turns the dark theme on from sunset to sunrise. Alrighty. The next option is color and contrast, which as you could already guess allows you to change and regulate the color, the prevailing color should I say, of your interface. There is this very convenient palette that can that allows you to choose what color will be dominant dominant or like the main color. At the top part of uh, of the page you are granted with this very convenient picture that allows you to very visually see uh, how the colors that you've uh, chosen will look like exactly. And also some three standard presets for the color temperature such as standard, warm and cool. I'll go with the standard one myself. Next option is called Video Display Enhancement. And once turned on, as you can see, it enhances the video display quality to make colors brighter and more vivid. So we had to recommend that you mm, try turning this toggle on and seeing if it will make any difference for you. Next uh, option is called Night Light. And once activated, as you can see, it makes all the colors of your screen significantly warmer. The way this feature works is that it simply filters out the excess amounts of blue lights, therefore preventing eye fatigue. So if you feel like your eyes are very, very tired, you can just go ahead and turn on the night light, as well as the option page allows you to regulate its intensity of this effect. And as it was with the dark theme, with the dark mode, it allows you to set some custom schedule for it to be activated and deactivated respectively. Already, the next option that we would like to touch, should I say, that we would like to highlight in this video is the whole section uh, of the display settings, which is located at the bottom of the page and is called lock screen. As you can see at this uh, dedicated page, you are able to uh, configure quite some settings and options on I mean for the visual appearance and uh, work logic for yeah for the lock screen on this device so for example uh, there is the section that allows us to choose what notification content will be shown at the lock screen either show all notification or don't show notifications at all uh, as well as this option, which is currently not active, but once you enroll the face recognition, it will let you to choose whether you want to skip the lock screen once you unlock your display with your face or not. There is also an opportunity to add any custom text to your lock screen, so let's type in something and test it out. As you can see, the text will be displayed over here. Double tap to lock option. So once we'll double tap on the empty area at our home screen we should be able to lock the phone it does not happen for some reason but this option should work i'm, I'm not sure why it does not lock the screen really because it worked previously already because it <laughs> didn't switch the toggle on sounds legit alrighty and as you can see now it works just fine 
let me get back to the lock screen. Also, as a bonus, you'll uh, get this lift to check phone option, which once activated, will make it so that uh, if you have your smartphone locked, you do not necessarily need to tap on the power button in order for your, the lock screen to be enabled, you can simply lift the phone. And this toggle as well, that once switched on, will wake the screen each time you received a new notification. Alrighty, so that will be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.